keep so let me start. So I have five lectures and in principle in the very end of the lecture I could explain something about internal system and how to analyze Maybe I just formulate this distance rule and then move slowly in this direction. Just to, so uh, this whole or other whole problem which I'm talking about this is calling to find the eigen value of what people call it quantum Hamiltonian of KDV type or KDV equations. And by this, uh, usually people have in, in, in a mind very concrete problem about. Verasora L. And this is a concrete problem, and uh, I think later I explain even something about Verasora L, but let me just now formulate what the problem is. Well, if we have Verasora algebra, uh, so standard generators A i, i belongs to z, and then such that A i takes g equal to g minus i, A i plus g plus central term, delta i plus g zero, and here is also standard central element. So in the algebra we have this, we have central element also. This central element is here. Central element can use this whole thing high. And so this is the algebra and surely almost all of us heard that this algebra is rather important in different kinds of business. But anyway this is some the algebra and it has uh, representation and representation in principle it has many different representations but let me consider what is calling Germain representation. Germain representation is meaning that it is a vector space depending on two numbers which so here let me put C capital here two numbers, one H and one C. Yes, and uh, in this Ramar representation we have first vector B, and we suppose that H I B is zero, H I is positive, H zero B is H and B, where H is this parameter, center The name of this C is central charge. Well, and if it is a my representation, it means that you see that positive A zero transmit vector about A zero and C. We know how they have on transmit vector. All all other vector operators are freely uh, uh, give us new vector in a representation, so it means that representation itself, which are my looking by the following way. We have V, and usually we understand this is vector in a top. Then I can act by A minus one V, get a new vector. Then I can act A minus one square V, and A minus two V, A minus one. 
such operators is acting like this and so and give us the uh, and it is infinite but uh, actually it is really acting in this, this representation because if you take for example subspace here then you have x3 and minus 3 is acting and x4 and n minus 4 is acting by 0 in this space therefore we have a well-defined operator acting there. And uh, so this operator is just finite matrix. And the problem is to find eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and so on. Uh, uh, well, and for the people, uh, maybe later I explain how it relates this KDV, and even I explain what is KDV matrix. But in principle, this problem is that KDV is some Hamiltonian system, and we have the simplest Hamiltonian there. And after quantization, it gives us some operator acting on some space, and this is just this, precisely this. Uh, therefore, a uh, problem of diagonalization of this operator is uh, important. And people tried for many years uh, to do it. And uh, what is possible to prove? Uh, no, surely with some efforts, but it may be always. Uh, it's much simpler. First of all, uh, this K2 is a part of influence Yes, and uh, it means that we can construct a 
system of operators is inside universal envelope and coherent story, which can be used with, with him. So, for example, K3 is uh, the sum. No, I cannot write it precisely, and I do not want, but it takes structure at a theta and gamma. At a theta plus gamma equals zero. Plus some quadratic terms. And here we have to put normal order. It does not matter what does it mean, but it is some cubic expression inside universal envelope and algebra, and it commutes with uh, a K2, and we can constant more of them, K3, K4, and so on. And, uh, and if we know this, uh, we are living in some area of integrable system, and people should expect that standard machinery of integrable system can be applied here. Uh, and only now it is clear that is possible. So, uh, in the title of, of lecture, is something about Bertrand or and so on. And really, Bertrand can be applied. And uh, the reason why that uh, this this Vermeer, no, uh, I do not know how much I can explain about geometry, but uh, geometry is behind this. You see that. Uh, uh, this is a German representation, but uh, the, the size of this space uh, is a uh, number of partitions. So it means uh, it's uh, natural to expect that Gilbert's scheme is somewhere behind this. And it is really so. And, uh, well, so uh, again. In the end of, probably near the end of my lecture, somewhere near the end, I explain what kind of this PDV uh, system as a part of some big class of integral systems, uh, which here in some geometry. And uh, uh, I explain how to diagonalize such system, how to uh, write better equations and uh, poor better equations. This all I explain uh, well. And suppose uh, this is my goal or my direction. Uh, no, before start, let me just say a few words. Again, if, if, if what I said, if there are so involved in this game, it means that conformal field here and things like uh, these are somewhere not far from what I'm doing. And uh, also some other things are involved. I said uh, the geometry, like studying uh, this instance on manifold consists like that are also there. Uh, and technically, what is using something not uh, far from quantum group and some things around uh, around them, uh, it is not necessary, at least in the first half of the lecture, to know something about quantum groups. I try to explain. Uh, but uh, actually, what I start to explain in a few minutes is some part of some approach to quantum group business. And uh, so it was. Uh, so I start with uh, what uh, is calling the shuffle algebra. And, uh, and today, definitely, I will talk only about that. Uh, this is the shuffle algebra. is just a con construction, more or less, from elementary algebra. And uh, this is what? Uh, the simplest possible algebra 
which people know is the polynomial algebra in n variables or infinitely many variables. Yes, and uh, this is also uh, so the name of the algebra, algebra of polynomials. And uh, the simplest possible deformation of polynomials in a class of associative graded algebra is what is calling this P polynomials. And skew polynomials is, uh, is a very similar object. This is the algebra generated. No, well, maybe let us call them, call them by no, maybe the same name, x1, and so on, xn. Yes, but uh, in uh, uh, algebra of polynomials, xi, fj equals <coughs> fj xi. But now not. Now xi, fj equal qij and fjxi and uh, here uh, in the simplest approach so qij plus some numbers uh, and uh, 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 to be more precise, it is uh, uh, ui i has to be equal one first of all, otherwise it has no degree. But uh, uh, let us suppose this, and also ui j times ui has to be equal one. Now after that, we have some definition of some algebra generated by axes with such kinds of relation and uh, name of this skew polynomials. And this algebra depends in matrix QIJ. Uh, no simple uh, but interesting algebra. Uh, uh, we discuss about such kind of algebras, uh, uh, well, not a lot, but at least some. Well, but I need uh, uh, this, you know how to say it. And here uh, we have construction of this algebra of skew polynomial in terms of generators and relations. Uh, but now I want to present a little bit, uh, 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 actually very similar construction, but uh, in some sense more concrete or more precise, I don't know how to say it. Well, but uh, this construction is going on by which way? Let us take, suppose S is a set. Uh, this set for simplicity, in principle, it can be infinite, and it will be infinite. But now, suppose it is a finite set, just to compare with this. Uh, and suppose we have function, lambda, from S times S, also to, to field, which we have, but in our case, for simplicity, let it be just a uh, complex number. Yes, and after that, uh, I can use this function lambda to construct the algebra. Well, elements. Now, this algebra will be, name of this algebra will be shuffle algebra uh, connected with this function lambda and uh, uh, about product. Well, about product and about the algebra. Algebra will be graded uh, uh, no that it will be algebra E and it is A zero plus A one plus A two plus so on. 
So the element of this AM is function in M variable from S, which I denote by small s. Symmetric function. Now about the product. Uh, so suppose I have such function F, say from AM, and other J from AM. Then the product is what? This. And it has to depend in, uh, because of grading in n plus m s is s1, s2, and so on, s n plus n. And it is given by a simple formula, and this formula is what? F s1. S2 and so on S. F depends in M times G S M plus 1 S M plus M. Uh, then it is a product of our function lambda. S I. get a symmetric function in S1 and so on in SM. And symmetrization is this, uh, through this, uh, just symmetrize S1, S2, and S1, S1, and S1. The name shuffle is because of this card terminology, because it means how this symmetrization is going on. Because they are symmetric in S, this group of S and this group, for S. If we make symmetrization, I have to put S's, this group of S's, in some places between this S. So the same what I am doing uh, when I arrange a card. So anyway, this is uh, a product. And this product, uh, no, you need the symmetrization and so on. But if you look to this formula, it is completely evident that this product has the structure of Ashton associated algebra on this space. So, as a result, I have some simple construction of uh, associative algebra. And uh, uh, the question is uh, in what the relation of this uh, algebra with the algebra of skew polymer. Uh, they are very close things. Uh, it's not precisely the same thing, but very close. To see if, uh, 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 let us suppose that function lambda from S times S to C is uh, uh, actually no, have not zeros for simplicity. That is, goes to C star. After that, uh, Uh, let us uh, let us use some notation. This notation can be what? That uh, no, uh, surely maybe some comment. So in general, function lambda can be just zero. 
in this case, uh, no chance to get algebra of such kind, and the product will be just zero. But uh, if uh, lambda is not such kind, for example, this one, then uh, what? Then I can take uh, A1 and suppose that uh, let us denote delta S is delta function. So A1 is what? A1 is function on S. And suppose that delta S is a function which is 1 in S and 0 in other product. And I can, without problem, calculate the product delta S1 times delta S2 in 1 order and delta S2 and delta S1 in other order. And the, in, from the formal it is evident that the product in one order and product in other order is different by constant. And this constant, uh, this and difference of this is, and this is what? Is I think lambda S1 S2 divided to lambda S2 S1. So, so maybe open. Well, so the, again, such product will be function on S times S, which is non-trivial only on a pair S1, S2. And this is also. And because of this, uh, uh, two products differ by uh, such numbers. And this is the same as in the algebra of skew polynomials. And, uh, uh, it is a very, very simple exercise to see that if an actual function is such type, then this algebra is generated by a1. So it means that at least in this case, this algebra is the algebra of skew polynomials. Yes, and uh, it's okay. And uh, not, not troubles, but it's a difference of this algebra of algebra of skew polynomials appear in the case when function lambda have zeros. Okay, so I have definition of shuffle algebra and uh, later we discuss uh, a, a, a lot something about even in this simple case, but let me introduce now the algebra to which I wrote work. And, uh, now, first of all, uh, such, such kind of algebra, I said that the S is finite uh, set. But uh, for such uh, definition, it is uh, surely not necessary. I can take uh, uh, S, uh, S, S, infinite set, and lambda <coughs> every to the function. And I get some algebra. And But if uh, 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 S is infinite dimensional, that it is hard to say who will be generators and so on, at least in, uh, in general. But uh, a construction with algebra, I have. But uh, uh, let me. Uh, introduce some of our examples which we will work with. So, example. How this construction work? Uh, first of all, uh, let uh, S be uh, infinite uh, set, even more than that, let S be C. Yes, and uh, let us take function lambda in, in two uh, variables, S1 and S2, uh, from C times C into numbers, into C, into that function, into variables, and I took C because I want to suppose something about this 
function and first uh, uh, let lambda be uh, polynomial. No, polynomial would be The most popular example, which I uh, write immediately, uh, done as one as two, it is uh, no s is not good. We use if we are talking about a just function. So suppose that lambda depending on z, z one, z two, uh, z is better notation for complex number. Anyway, the most popular choice of rational function is following. Let us take z1 minus t u t2 divided to z1 minus z2. Well, and uh, uh, let us uh, have in mind uh, for uh, short period uh, just this function. And uh, now uh, 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 let us look at how this product is work. But first of all, we can take S F and G uh, polynomial symmetric. in uh, Z1 and so on. Now, well, and about the first, now about the product, you see that uh, we have F depending uh, symmetric polynomial in M way and product to I just uh, write again the same formula, f times g, depending in g1, and so on, g, and just n. And so the uh, uh, formula is just the same, and it is what? It is f symmetrization, g1, and so on, g, n, times g. M plus one, e. M plus N. Here I have a product of lambda. The alpha. In fact, again, uh, the alpha from this group, Z is uh, from this group, and symmetrization is going on by this way. And uh, again, uh, let me write uh, lambda is. So uh, this is a good uh, product. Uh, so what uh, we have to check that. So uh, the result of product of two polynomials is also polynomial. But this is evident. This is evident because of what? That uh, we take, uh, so this is polynomial, this is polynomial, but this is a rational function. This rational function has poles of the direct. But after that, I make up symmetrization. But poles we have was a one. But symmetric function in n variables cannot have pole of diagonal of order one. It has poles of order two, maybe four, and so on. But one, it is not possible. And so it means that uh, this formula, uh, we have many terms, and each term uh, has poles on the diagonal. But after symmetrization, this pole is constant. So uh, therefore, this is, well, the 
Fine. Perfect. Oh, one there is space. But no, no, uh, uh, well, and uh, uh, let me formulate simple uh, property of this algebra, and maybe because we need some exercises, then exercises about this algebra is good to formulate right now. And this uh, will be what? First of all, uh, what I want to say now is that it is not exercise, but it is evidence statement, the evidence property. Suppose a uh, function lambda is equal to 1. It means that parameter q, it happens if parameter q is there, is 1. Then uh, in this product is commutative. And uh, algebra is generated by first component. And first component is function in one variable, and uh, no, because uh, we are talking about polynomials now, that uh, first component is a polynomial in one variable, in C. So, uh, Well, if I want to for formulate the exercise, uh, maybe, no, it's okay. Uh, here it is commutative. Now, a product is commutative, and the algebra is generated by polynomials in one variable. And uh, uh, in this case, when lambda is one, this algebra is uh, uh, algebra of polynomials in, in the set of generators and about these generators well we have uh, them just in, in uh, first grading so the generators are phases in this space in the one x x squared so Uh, yes, and uh, yes, and uh, surely for generic Q, we can understand this algebra as a deformation of algebra in infinite set of generators. Fine. And second, let us consider the subalgebra of uh, this shuttle algebra generated by uh, first segment of this. Uh, I want to consider the subalgebra of, 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 of this, what uh, we have here, generated by elements 1, x, x squared, and so on, x, n minus 1. So, uh, or just generated by space of polynomials of, with degree restriction, the degree is less than 1. So, this uh, algebra, which generated by n uh, elements, let us denote this algebra by a, maybe b, n, and, and uh, uh, 
and uh, again. Uh, it may be simple exercise that uh, it will be two exercises. One is simple A. That for Q equal one B and polynomial algebra. Uh, and the narrator. Uh, exercise a, a, a little bit more complicated uh, exercise B is uh, suppose that Q is, no, for any Q, suppose uh, Q is generic or some Q, that right left quadratic relations in uh, my algebra G and Just understand uh, uh, what I want. Uh, well, algebra B one is just algebra generated by one from, from C X, and this algebra is surely polynomial algebra in one variable. What is it? If we are uh, talking about B2, how to uh, no, first of all, first of all, excuse me, I change the notation. Here was Z, here they become X. But uh, anyway, but uh, I have in mind the same thing. Uh, suppose uh, uh, just D become X now. Anyway, I have uh, in B2, I have 1 and X. And then I have to calculate the product in two directions. How to do it? That I have 1 and then I have X. And I want to cal calculate their product. Again, the definition of pro product, the uh, notation for product, in such algebra, always uh, be star like this. So, what is this? So, if I calculate one times x, what is this? So, it will be function in two variables because I change unfortunately notation. It will be function in very in variables x one and x two. And what is this? It will be <laughs> it will be uh, x2 times x1 minus q x2 to x1 minus x2. And here I have to symmetrize. So I have to add term where I write x1 and x2 in two opposite order. So it works well x1 times x2 minus q x1 divided to x2 minus x1 and probably it is good to put one half here or I calculate x what will be the change? change will be that here I will have now x1 and here I will have x2 and then I have to make symmetrization. Yes, and the problem is compare these two products in two different orders. Yes, and uh, uh, it, it, it will be, no, it, it is not a big deal to do. And you will see that uh, 
No, I cannot do it uh, right now. Maybe I will do it a little bit later because of some reason. But you see, you get two symmetric polynomials and two variables. And actually, one. Uh, Q or Q inverse. That would be plus minus one because I cannot be sure. Yes, and so uh, it means that uh, uh, no, up to this algebra we generate by one and x is simple. It is polynomial for generic Q. This is polynomial algebra, which is uh, just the algebra of Q polynomials, which such a commutation relation. Yes, but uh, if you take 1x and x squared, then what is the problem now? I want to say that this algebra is uh, for this B3 is algebra with three generators. And we know, at least I claim, that this algebra for Q equal one is polynomial algebra in three generators. Now, if Q is, uh, no, for generic Q, let us not talk just now, but uh, if Q is not far from one, the algebra is uh, stupid, is uh, this algebra is generated by three generator and has some quadratic relation. And if we consider just polynomial algebra in three generator, then <coughs> this algebra has three defining relations. It says that this commutes with this, this commutes with this, and this commutes with this. After deformation, we have also algebra in three generated with three defining relations. And this is the problem which I have here in mind, just to write down explicitly these quadratic relations. Uh, no, start, if people never did it, that first do it for B3 and finish calculation for B2, and then to do it in general, and just uh, write down it in some concise form if, 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 uh, if it's possible to write down them in, 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 in rather good form. Okay. now, and we discuss even one example. No main definition that I can take arbitrary function and work out with uh, symmetric function with some property. And the question is what possibility in principle I have. Uh, well, so uh, now, we have many uh, possibilities uh, 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 how to describe this algebra, but uh, again, Next example is following. Let me uh, take suppose function lambda in let me return to z v1 and v2 
equal to So excuse me, let me postpone a, a little bit. Uh, so uh, examples uh, will be, but uh, next part of this shuffle algebra will relate. Uh, will uh, relations, uh, it is uh, a problem it's concerning the problem which appear for this shuffle algebra, even in the simplest case, uh, when S is finite set and lambda is some function, but now let us not suppose that uh, in principle uh, 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 lambda, uh, I admit lambda to have zeros. And uh, well, now we have simple problem. shuffle algebra in this case. No, uh, uh, well, our shuffle algebra is A0 plus A1 plus A2 plus so on. Uh, and uh, the question. Now, the question is the following. When shuffle algebra is generated by A1. No, I, I, I said, and it's really evident, that if lambda turn of zeros, then uh, uh, algebra generated by A1. And the opposite example, when lambda is zero, is definitely not. And uh, and again, uh, 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 this question also can be appropriate for students. But and uh, uh, I but I want to discuss it, not to solve it completely, but. Well, uh, I want to, to formulate the following thing. Well, suppose that lambda, uh, no, I said lambda is just identically zero, then uh, algebra uh, definitely not generated by A1, uh, and it means as algebra it has a lot of generators, and so on. And but between lambda equals zero and lambda which has not zero at all, it is many intermediate uh, situations. And uh, to explain what is going on, let me formulate the simple proposition. Now, this proposition is following. Uh, uh, but before proposition, let me finish.
form a real if the following condition is true. Lambda S1 S2 is 0. Lambda S2 S3 is 0. Lambda S R minus 1 R, R is 0. And also Lambda S R S1 is 0. So what does it mean? It means that if I set of elements form a real, if I can draw a picture like this, S1, S2, S3, and so on, SR, uh, the last one. And if lambda is 0 on this pair, on this pair, on this pair, on this pair, and so on, that we say that uh, uh, this set of, of elements S1, S2, S3, and SR form a wheel. Yes, and uh, this is a definition of a, a, a wheel. And uh, uh, terminology that function. F from F S S suppose a L times uh, to C satisfy real condition. Following is true. F no F surely has to be symmetric function. And F S1 and so on. S A is zero if some subset elements for C satisfy satisfy real condition. So uh, again. Uh, this is a part of the definition. Function f satisfies real condition if f is zero on the following things. If uh, in uh, 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 on this subset, uh, from S1, so, so we have subset here, S1, S2, S3, and so on. And some R such that this set of S uh, form a wheel. Uh, no, now this is a definition, and now proposition. Proposition just say that uh, suppose F satisfy real condition and G satisfy real condition. Then F G also satisfy real condition. But do you fix uh, sides of view? No, no, no. Any view. Any view. Uh, mm, yes, and... Uh, no, I want to say that uh, this is No, again. Anyway, so I take function and just check. I take some, I take any set of S which satisfies real condition and uh, function 
have to be zero if a part of this asset satisfies this real condition. So for, for any real, such, such function has to be zero. This is uh, uh, the, the, the definition. And uh, now the proposition is uh, well, No, I want to, to say that the, it is almost evident we, if you want to see it, it is enough to look to the formula for a product. That uh, formula for the product, I told you, that I have some f and some g, and then it is s1 and so on, sn. And what? It was symmetrization of f. So it is zero, so it's okay. Or, or it, if, 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 in principle, it, it can be bigger than this. It, 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 in principle, this part is here, part is here. But in, in, in general, what is happening? If you have such part here, and you have some term of this form, some s are here, some s are here. Yes, and uh, then, uh, but uh, it, it can be easy to see that zeros are uh, from this, appear from real condition, because we have many numbers here. And if you look carefully to this formula, you see it. And we will check it. Uh, no, I explain it to you the simple example where it is working, you will see. But uh, here was a problem. Problem when uh, a trouble algebra is generated by A1. And surely uh, my proposition says that it is not so if we have non-trivial real. Now, in, in this case, the part which you generated by A1 uh, give you only function which satisfy real condition. So uh, it means that if we have non-trivial wheels, that no way to get uh, all algebra from A1. Uh, No. 
doing about uh, this problem that uh, I like if people to try to understand. So, for example, suppose, if, to be honest, I don't remember the answer to this problem. So I, I will be happy if somebody solves it fully. It is not complicated, but nevertheless, or at least uh, if some partial result. No, no, this is uh, correct. After that, suppose that function lambda is such that no will condition. So uh, lambda has zero somewhere, but we cannot organize will from the point such that uh, this uh, will condition is true. Uh, is it true that in this case the algebra is generated by A1? Or it is some counterexample. I will be happy in both cases. Uh, anyway, now uh, uh, let me no. From this, it is not maybe it is not so easy to see immediately that this is correct. But uh, let us uh, consider our main example. I mean that now suppose that S is uh, infinite and even C. And uh, suppose this was algebra, this function, what was there is E1 minus Q2 over Q1 minus Q2 and I product of the polynomials, but uh, so will condition uh, for will condition it is not so important. I play with polynomials and with uh, with other functions it is not so important. But uh, about so the question about will it is easy. So then so now this function lambda divided it even has poles, but we do not afraid poles when I explain, but it has zeros. Zeros is more important for my will condition, and the will appear so well when now S becomes Z, and will, this is in a case if I can draw it by this way. One, So on and uh, here it has to be zero on this function. It means that the ratio of them has to be equal q. Therefore, non-trivial will condition appear only in a case when q is root of limit. Q some power n equal one. In this case, we have real conditions, and uh, therefore, therefore, what? What? Uh, uh, I'm talking now. So suppose that Q is a root of unity of order n. And suppose that Q is primitive root of unity. Now, uh, what is going on? That uh, first place where this root uh, will condition is working, the function in n variable, C1 and so on. And, and uh, my condition now is the following, that uh, uh, if, for example, if I take a product, so such set of functions is a part of a n, this is n 
grading space in my L. And suppose I have a product, a L times a1, a L minus 1 times a L1, so a n. So what uh, the formula is. So suppose g is here, and some function in one variable, say h, suppose from here, then I have to write g, g1, and so on, g, and minus 1, times h, g, n, times the product lambda, g, i, g, n, i for n from 1 to n minus 1, and then make up synchronization. Uh, it, it is the result of the product, and uh, now uh, uh, if you look to this formula, it is easier, I think, than to look to the general formula then in this case, uh, uh, this product will be zero when uh, on the wheel. And this is because we have so many terms here. And so, you, you know, if you just take any term here and substitute z, qz, q squared, and so on, then you get zero. More or less because of the evident reason, because one of the terms here becomes zero in this case. So uh, this is the way how it is written. Again, uh, No, even if you solve the problem for lambda and uh, for when s is finite set and so on, from that, at least immediately what I want to say now is the following. The problem here is the following. Suppose you is not a uh, root of unity. Suppose for any n, it is not a uh, root of unity. Uh, then algebra, uh, shuffle algebra, is generated by A1. Or uh, it, it is more or less uh, the same thing, so it is equivalent. Uh, A and B is the same. I just actually I repeat. Suppose Qn is 1 and Q uh, is primitive root of unity, then <coughs> algebra Coincide with shuffle algebra till degree n minus one. So it means that I have a one, then a one times a one, and so on. And so this is a one. This product of a one times a one at least coincides with a two. Then a one times a one times a one. This coincides with a three and so on until a n minus 1, it will be like this. So a minus, uh, uh, 
substrates generated by A minus 1 till uh, this degree coincide with all symmetric functions. Uh, but trouble or happiness occur here in A1. Here I get not all functions, but function on the function which are zero on the diagram, on this shifted diagram, Z to Z and so on. Well, and, uh, no, I formulated them both because uh, actually if you try to do this, what you uh, 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 actually look look is in this. So. How many problem I have? Three, maybe, yes? Two or three? No, maybe a little bit too late I formulate one more. I can try. Now, first of all, uh, so I want to just uh, to play a little bit with this definition of a shuffle, just trying polynomial and different functions to calculate the product. Well, so my starting point as I said, was this function d1 minus q z2 over z1 minus z2. And by the way, such form of rational function, it is good because it is not necessary. In principle, we can work with this also. But uh, homogeneous function is uh, easier. Uh, but even here, well, uh, What I can do. So here I have, uh, when I use this function, I work with polynomials f d1 dm times d and so on and calculate the product. Uh, I can change a little bit a definition and to get the same element. For example, suppose function lambda in d1 and d2 be just equal d1 minus q z2. And uh, uh, but uh, uh, definition of algebra, let us change a little bit. Uh, well, now I take function f and g, and uh, let me write down f g c1 for c m plus m by the following way. So again, I write down f c1 and so on m times Here again, from 
done the better, but here I put not uh, symmetrization but alternation. And uh, no, well, you see what we get as a, as a result. Alternation, no, because of alternation, I get <coughs> more or less the same algebra because before I had distance, so you skew symmetric things. Now I have, uh, but uh, uh, because of alternation, now algebra consists in uh, skew symmetric. But as algebra, it will be the same. No difference. Uh, so, no, I got the question how much important this part. Uh, it's not much. Uh, it's one. Then, So, because of this, uh, now what we have, uh, if we have function lambda of C1, C2, and I can transfer either uh, shuffle algebra using symmetrization or shuffle algebra using isomorphism. And in, in, in both cases, I get something. Uh, if you follow the list of examples, the next, next example should be uh, when we have a product of two on the top, a product of two in the bottom. So I can take lambda C1, C2, C1, C1 minus C1. C1 minus C2, C2, C2 divided to C1 minus C2 squared. And uh, uh, now uh, uh, it, it will be more convenient because of the river, which will clear later. Let us consider algebra a zero plus a one plus a two plus so on, which is each a i uh, symmetric well and uh, symmetric function and uh, I want them to be Laurent polynomial. Huh? Uh, Laurent, no, in principle I want them to be Laurent polynomial. Uh, like uh, in, in the case of two. But it is not possible because uh, what? So uh, 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 what I want to do? So well, a zero is just c. A one is suppose c c c zero. Yes, and if you calculate the product f g. Suppose they belong to A1. And I can calculate the problem. F times J. So what it will be? It will be F C1, G C2. Then we have this function lambda. Uh, C1, C2, and then symmetrization G1 more 10. Of say so, then one half. 
in front. Yes. And, but these functions are Laurent uh, polynomials in a sense, but it has pool. And uh, which pool depends in uh, how we determine the algebra. So if no, uh, determine it means what we use. So if we use alternation, then uh, we get skew symmetric function as a result of alternation. But uh, this uh, skew symmetric function will have full on the diagonal of degree one. Because it's evident reason, it is two symmetric functions. Because of this structure ground, we expect to have a pole of order two. But for two symmetric functions, this is possible. But therefore, uh, we can sort of definition. Uh, I mean alternation version of sharp algebra for this function. Uh, element of this algebra are object of the following P one and so on D N I J uh, here uh, here in the product mean product I want to check Q-symmetric function, it means that P symmetric Laurent polynomial. After that, on such set of functions, the product will be closed, and as a result, we get some associative algebra. It will be some constant. say about real condition. For real condition, it is not important. Alternation we do or symmetrization because they are true in each test. But what uh, uh, real condition in this case? Uh, we can see, we can just repeat uh, what I said before. And uh, now, because of such structure of the function, uh, uh, real condition the set of variables d1, dr. Satisfy real condition. In this case, it is what? This is the same story because Z is the same as X. They satisfy real conditions, this we can uh, write a real. In each side, puts variable. ratio of z1 and z2 is one of these q. And it can be z1 over z2, in this case can be 
either Q1 or Q2. Or here, pressure either Q1 or Q2. It means that set of the I now satisfies the condition if the I over the I plus two think so it's correct is either Q1 or Q2. Yes, and uh, if uh, uh, so, uh, our definition of real now is this, and uh, function of such sort satisfies real condition if it is zero in the case if some segment of the z uh, has such property. Therefore, uh, 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 because of structure, Real product uh, sub subspace of such functions, which satisfy real condition, gives us subalgebra. Yes, and uh, this is the object which we study actually, and. Now, uh, maybe main example. The closest function lambda is q1 minus q1 2, q1 minus q2 z2, q1 minus q3 z2. Divide to Q1 minus Q cube. And uh, now suppose for construction of the algebra in a product, uh, we use standardization. Then, uh, in this case, uh, the algebra the sum of AM and each AM is what? If it is a symmetric polynomial in variables D1 and so on DM, divide to the product the I minus the J squared. Uh, where this guy is symmetric. Yes, and uh, no, again, this is the same story function, it's a little bit different, but uh, all is the same, and uh, it's clear that the a product a m times a m going to a m plus m. Sub 
of algebra, uh, this is function which has zero on uh, such uh, diagonals uh, of uh, such conditions. And, uh, no, because uh, q1, q2, q3 is one, then we have simple limits. q1, q2, and q3. If this ratio is q1, this ratio is q2, then this ratio is q3. Therefore, we have this. Or we have real q1, q2, and q3. Here we have q1. Maybe here we have q2. Here we have q1, and here we have q3. We have such special wheels. And uh, in this case, it is possible to see that all other wheels are just follow from that. OK. Uh, I have for some time. And, uh, Next part, which I start today, will be, uh, I call it real condition. And set relation. Now, uh, Let me uh, consider still the same example. So my function lambda q1 dt will be q1 minus q1 dt with three parts. Let us look to my L. So I have A1 and I have A2. Now, set a relation which I wrote starting uh, some, no, in my case, two, one, two, 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 three is one. The set relation is here, here. But uh, let us first discuss what is happening here. Uh, I have some associated algebra. And uh, this associative algebra is generated by A1. And A1 are Laurent polynomials in E and E inverse. And uh, what I have here is, uh, as I said, Laurent polynomials in E1 and E2 divided by E1 minus E2. Yeah. So, uh, what we can say about uh, quadratic relation uh, of this algebra and also the size of this algebra? Uh, well, first of all, Let me <coughs> say uh, about this algebra some proposition. Change 
the notation. So this the i let me denote by the i and uh, this proposition is following that uh, in proposition that uh, description I uh, maybe have some time to formulate it, but uh, let me uh, before this uh, to formulate the following thing that uh, forget for a moment about all this business and let us do the following. Let us uh, consider the First, uh, just C2 with the uh, symplectic with a coordinate. This symplectic form uh, have a cool, uh, and uh, so uh, you mean p minus q? No, p q. So this, this is actually symplectic form on the product c star times c star. And uh, we, uh, if we have such symplectic form, we can determine the corresponding Lie algebra of uh, Hamiltonian vector fields or Lie algebra of Hamiltonian spectrum. On the uh, space of functions here. Space of functions here are regular function are just C, P, P inverse, and so Q, Q inverse. And uh, using this Boston or or Corresponding uh, Poisson structure, I can. This is the algebra of uh, functions here. And what is this Lie algebra? Well, so we have uh, yes. Uh, so the corresponding Poisson structure is, you know, it has to be homogeneous. So corresponding Poisson structure is PQ, P over PQ, over P over PQ. And it means that uh, if I uh, calculate uh, the bracket, then 
bracket of F and G. Maybe it is good to say why I want I switch the subject in explaining something about this. I want to say that this algebra for in some limit when q1 to 2, q3 group to 1 and q1 to 2, q3 is 1 is very close to the universal and the local and of q3 algebra. But uh, I want first to explain something about q3 algebra and then connect it is what is going on here. Well, now let us look to this new algebra. No, it is a rather simple. And, uh, Now, if I take this formula and calculate the bracket, if I uj pi prime uj prime, so it, <coughs> so it will be what? It will be pi plus pi prime uj plus j prime, and here it will be what? It will be i j prime minus i j i prime. Is this correct? I think so. Uh, now, uh, So, well, here we have a lattice like this. Now, so this is the Here is the origin, yes, and uh, it means that uh, here we have one, here we have two, here we have two square, two inverse, and so on. And here I have p and q and so on. So according to this formula, in this Lie algebra. This part is a commutative sub algebra, and uh, this part is C Q Q inverse. This part is C Q Q inverse times Q. Yes, and uh, So this part is uh, uh, C Q Q inverse and F Q squared. Now, uh, uh, now about bracket. If I have Q I P bracket. Now, according to my formula, it will be what? I minus J or J minus I? I minus J. And here, uh, 
here it will be q i plus g d squared. Now, first of all, it is not our business right now, but we have the same formula which I started with today. After a sign, I have an i as j equal j minus i and i plus j. Now, surely we have not the same here, but this coefficient. Okay, uh, so uh, uh, no, well, what I am considering now, I uh, uh, I have the algebra. Algebra, which I want to call a maximal nilpotence of algebra, and it has which form. This is uh, P times CP times C U Q inverse. And we have also subalgebra, uh, which is uh, opposite in this side. This uh, P inverse, C P inverse, and here C Q inverse. So we see this the algebra, and uh, now. discuss now a little bit that uh, I think in this mean algebra this maximal nilpotent subalgebra and in this maximal nilpotent uh, subalgebra no, uh, no first of all this decomposition is direct counterpart of what if we have usual JLM then we have diagonal matrices which is maximal commutative subalgebra in this we have upper triangular matrices, which is something like this, and lower triangular matrices, which is something like this. And uh, now, uh, what about relations? So uh, this subalgebra I denoted by n. This subalgebra I denoted by n minus, and uh, 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 algebra n plus is generated by. Uh, polynomials 
Jesus and give her two times new eyes. No, I think uh, he's going to turn us here and in the run I calculate. The bracket I can read is this and so. Yes, and first, uh, the element AI satisfies. Quadratic relation. And uh, such uh, relations are following. Uh, no, because we had brackets there, I read. So this quadratic relation just means that the bracket E I and E G uh, equal I minus J times sum. No. No, this quadratic relation means that I take if I take okay, if I take E I and E G, calculate the bracket. Then it will be I minus J times element here, depending only in I plus J. Therefore, we have relation of such kind. Uh, now there are uh, now I want to say the following. That quadratic uh, relations in this algebra when, uh, so again, on a, a Q1, Q2, Q3 uh, are some numbers and they Q1, Q2, Q3 through to 1, then quadratic relations in the limit, no up to some constant, will be precisely what I'm saying here. Uh, in principle, I have to finish that few points you wrote. I will start with this. Again, uh, let me just explain what I said. Okay. I define Schaffer algebra. I explain real condition. I am saying that existence of real condition gives us a sort of relation. It means that, for example, what is happening? If I have algebra, uh, Suppose this Q1, Q2, Q3 are generic. We have some else. If Q1, Q2, Q3 satisfy resonance condition, for example, Q1 times Q2 times V equal 1, then subalgebra is generated by the first degree becomes smaller. Therefore, because
because of real condition, we get some extra relation. And such kind of extra relations are, uh, uh, it is reasonable, and I explain later, to call them separate relations. This is second thing, which I said. And, and next, uh, I said the following. No, because we are interested in uh, uh, the K when Q1, Q2, Q3 product is equal 1, and we are interested in shuffle algebra with this Q1, Q2, Q3, then uh, uh, so uh, I did not explain it, but maybe it is good two minutes to see. Okay, so uh, I wanted to say, and, but it's impossible now. Well, I have shuffle algebra with this function d1 minus d1 2, d1 minus d2 to 2, d1 minus d3. And, uh, uh, and then suppose that, uh, again, that q1 times q2 times q3 is 1. So we have both conditions. So uh, I consider algebra a function p q1 and so on. Here I have product the i minus one which is square uh, with such real condition uh, such that P satisfies real condition. And so we have some algebra with some product. And uh, the fact which I want to try to explain, maybe it was, was not clear that I'm doing that this, that this algebra if Q1, Q2, Q3 goes to 1, to generate to universal enveloping of this algebra, which I tried to start to explain. How to generate, we also discuss. Uh, because you see, in this algebra, it is interesting what is going on. That if naively said Q1, Q2, Q3 to 1, that corresponding algebra in the limit become commutable. But we can make limit more smart. If we do it more smart way, we can get this, or sometimes even more interesting. Yes, but uh, it is good just to have in mind what kind of object we have. Because I do not know other way to explain, for example, the size of this algebra. But it is looking like a universal enveloping of, of, of this part. And it, the reader please, please ask some image what is this. Uh, so 